Alright guys, this is Andy 1886 well here, um, bringing you a video for the fantastic FIFA Ultimate Team blog. Today I'm going to be showing you my squad of um, Brazilian Silvers. Um, I've made Brazilian Silvers before, as the people that um, visited my channel beforehand don't know. Um, they played very well for me, they fit in with the style of play that I use, and now uh, overall a very good team. So we'll just start off by going through the subs here. Well, I've got two Brazilian Silver subs because I used the rest of the sub places from my other team to rest them, etc. Um, in the striker sub, we've got Fred. This guy's a beast. There's no other words for it. Easily the best striker I've ever used in this game. He's just brilliant at everything. Then the left wing sub, we've got Mancini. This is a, another Brazilian here. Although not a, not a popular one. That, that has to be said. It's got 8 pace, 82 dribble, and knows. In the main start column are really the only ones that stand out, but um, he's a good player, he's decent enough for the silver. And then over here, we'll just, I'll just show you my defence here. At left back, we've got um, El Tino, his name is. Uh, he's got 80 pace, 77 dribble, and 70 passing. So he's not a bad player, it was either him or Azevedo, but I didn't have the budget for Azevedo, as this is a pretty much budget defence right here. Uh, and the centre, the centre back, we've got Claudio Cacapa. This guy is, um, excuse me, this guy is decent. He's certainly not the best centre back. That award goes to Manuel, who I've never had the joy of playing with, but I hope to do so soon when I raise some funds. This guy is, yeah, there's not much you can say about him, he's a good player. Fits in. And I've got Diego, I think that's how you pronounce it. 76 diving, 74 handle, 71 reflex, 74 position, so he's a good all round keeper. And probably the best Brazilian keeper in this game, I would say. Then in the other centre back position, we've got Edu Dracena. This guy, um, oh god, didn't mean that, sorry. This guy, uh, you might remember from um, my other Brazilian team that I had in my own channel. I had him in my own channel, he was a beast air player. He, he does the job that Manuel does. Um, I'll be not as good as him, but he does the job. He's got 70 pace, 70 defence, and 79 heading. So. That's good. Then in the right back we have John, Gene, whatever you want to pronounce it. This guy's got 83 pace, so he's pretty pacey. 76 dribble. So he's similar to um, El Tino over on the left there. He's got slightly more pace, but El Tino has slightly more dribble. Then we move to the centre defensive mid, silver and right defensive mid. We have Fabinho, this guy has a beast of a shot. His stats may not look up too much, but with the 76 head and the 72 defence, he's more a defensive um, player. Whereas Fabio Rockenbach in the left is more of an attacking player. But anyway, this guy, he scored a couple of long shots for me. He's got the long shot trait, he's pretty good. Now we've got Fabio Rockenbach. This guy is, um, if you're making up a silver team, this guy is a must have. He's um, all around good stats, all in the high 70s. Apart from um, pace, um, heading, and dribbling. Uh, he's got 72 pace, 6, 75 shot, 78 passing, 72 dribbling, 75 defence. So this guy is a defensive player as well, but he can also play up front. Well, not up front, but in an uh, attacking position. The centre attacking mid here, well, he plays, plays in centre forward just now because I think he fits in better in the middle. He's Giovanni. This guy took up a massive chunk in my budget. He's got 80 pace, 81 shot, but... 77 dribbling. Uh, his stats don't really stand out, but believe me, this is one hell of a player. He's got, um, he is a really good player. He just fits in really well in the center attacking mid. Now we're here with Marlos. Marlos is a good player. He's got 86 pace, 73 dribbling, 86 dribbling. Um, is he a really good player? 5 star skill moves. There we go over here to the left, this guy's a centre forward, but I'm playing on the centre attacking mid. Danilinho, this guy's good as well, 81 pace, 70 shots, 70 passing, 77 dribbling. So, he's a good player, and now um, the attackers work really well, just feeding the balls into this guy, Rafael Moura. This guy's got a boost to a shot, a 79 pace, 75 shot, 70 dribbling, and 87 heading. The heading is a bit that stands out for me, because he wins every single header, I mean every single header. So, um, there we go guys, that's my Brasilva team. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. This has been Andy1886 well for the fantastic FIFA Ultimate Team blog. 
This will be my last video before FIFA 12, so for those of you who have stayed with me throughout my FIFA 11 Ultimate Team videos, thanks very much, and I'll see you in FIFA 12.